and he's facing a very motivated Daniel Jacobs here tonight. And we're underway in the main event. Big boisterous crowd here in Phoenix. Really since he starched you, Sergio, so it's been a while. At least Chavez able to move forward and impose his will. Hasn't done enough to kind of warrant these types of opportunities continuing to be thrown his way. I think all those things are certainly true. I do think what else is true is that Jacobs knows he's in line. Begins to land in the final minute. Right hand to the bubble bit of rhythm. Right hand and a hook by Chavez for Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Of saying that you're going to see me at my best. He said, I, I just have not been the same guy. That These guys are bigger, stronger. It's a different feeling. It's up with the right hand. Hey, no question. Same thing we're talking about with Maurice Hooker. One thing to remember, too, about Chavez's weight is that he did weigh 172.7, but he had to work to get to 172.7. And the crowd really just erupts at any type of success. Able to make a miss. Slipping the jab. I like the head movement of Chavez. He tries to land that club in right hand, but I thought Jacobs was more accurate. Both of those misses. Doesn't have a stronger jab, but he has a smarter and faster jab. Two shots landed to the body. Those are scoring blows. Right hand lands from Chavez. Jacobs doing the right thing by smothering the bigger Chavez Jr. there. And lands enough. Chris, I, I, at the time, I thought Canelo was winning rounds going away, and Jacobs really didn't get into a great rhythm and dominate any. Buzzes by the tower. Jacobs now goes to... Every just something to think about after the combination shot. That after the second round, don't let the fans... He seems lost if he's not going forward. A little more murmuring from the crowd now as Chavez is really just not throwing the shots. Not going to be at his sharpest in this fight. He knocked out Everett Bravo. An unheralded fighter in the first round back in August. You're right, one round in two and a half years. Oh, hook there, smacking off the head. Final half around. Yeah, Jacobs has showed some patience, but you've got to make sure you're winning rounds. Some body work. Chavez weighs in, throwing hooks. It's a detriment for the bigger fighter, and that's where speed and agility Coming to play for Jacobs. Jacobs' hands are just faster. Chavez, though, beginning to throw. Typical of Julio Cesar Chavez. He is consistently, even at his best, outlanded no and outthrown no by his elbows. opponent. Out of jab, starting to get a better rhythm. Double it, double it, double it, double it. Oh, that's a hard right hand from Chavez. In Jacob's corner, they keep smothering him and turn him. Hard right hand again, partially blocked. Put it with him. Stay pick left or right. Don't stand in front of him. Uppercut there by Jacobs against Samad for Jacobs landed a nice right hand. It was a combination caught his attention. Uppercut again by Jacobs. And a right hand just caught at him and then he looks at his own arm. And now he has some Chavez Jr. here in the fifth round. Chavez Sr. Chavez Jr. This is over. Exactly. Wave it over, and he's done. Westbelt Nast. Now, coming in as it gets more surreal. Big crowd. You see some of the sodas being thrown into the ring. Maybe we can ask Freddie as well. Freddie, what was it? The buffer has left the ring. I just got nailed in the head with something. Wow. But uh, just what a shame. I mean, 